Hello everybody, my name is Keyboard Slapper and today I am playing Ski Jumping Pairs Reloaded because as of recording this video in two days time it will be the Winter Olympics of 2014 in Sochi and I thought why not do something relevant to that because I'm pretty sure that ski jumping is an integral part of the Winter Olympics though I've never actually watched the Winter Olympics before so I'm not 100% sure on that and nor have I ever really watched ski jumping or participated in ski jumping in any way so I know nothing about the sport. But I'm guessing that this game is pretty much 100% fact. So I'm quite looking forward to getting into it and learning something today. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to add, this is a Japanese game, so I don't know what I'm clicking. I'm going to go ahead and click the top, because that usually means the main mode, such as Korea. So let's take a guess, shall we? As I haven't played this game before, we only have the choice of five countries, including England, Australia, at least I think that's Austria, Japan, USA, and Finland. And as I'm feeling patriotic, I'm going to go ahead and go with... England. So let's see if we can take the gold home, shall we? There's the English duo and, oh, he's a little bit handsy, isn't he? Okay, so um, don't be pulling that stuff off in Russia or you won't be coming back to our country, apparently. Okay, let's go ahead and get this one underway. Oh, oh god, it's a ribbon game. Oh, crap. Okay, I, okay, uh, I didn't expect this. Apparently, ski jumping is a form of ribbon game. And, oh, oh, that's romantic. Got many arms, doing a smooch in midair. That is not going to go down well in Russia, but here... That's beautiful. That's what I like to see. Romance in sport. Obviously, we're going to go home with the gold, I think, because look at us. We've got a total of 65 points, which I'm pretty sure is going to put us in the running. I don't know if anyone can actually beat that. And now for Jamaica, because they have a new bobsleigh team, completely unrelated to ski jumping. It's just all I think about when I think of Jamaica. So let's see what they can pull off, what we're having next to no snow. Game poised, getting ready, rubbing the moustache, and down they go. Here they go with tremendous speed head nearly in ass fantastic and jump what oh um are they ice skating in midair uh, no oh one's fallen over that's terrible technical skills there one fell over halfway through the jump not very professional but they are shaking hands once again true sportsmanship that is what we like to see so this is what ski jumping is all about apparently i i never knew i thought it was a little bit more boring but this is exciting and up next we've got france and they're pointing at something aggressively like look at that guy what a dick uh, uh, I've been left speechless. I don't know what the hell that is. Um, is it the arch? Is it the arch? Is that's a place in Paris, isn't it? It's like, what the hell? Is that a midget? Or a kid of sorts? Who led him onto the track? I never saw him. That's cheating. You should not be allowed children on your team. Especially when they come out of freaking nowhere. We should deduct points. Deduct points for invisible children. So here comes Austria. At least I think it's Austria. Here they go. And coming up to the jump. And nothing's... No. Uh. Uh. What? Oh, okay. Uh, I, I, ooh, I thought that got oddly erotic, but apparently it's a wrestling move. 74 points. You just tried to kill your teammates, so you are now beating England due to your terrible sportsmanship, you terrible people. Here comes Egypt, another place which hasn't had snow for a long time until recently. But either way, let's see what they can pull off. Here it goes. And I'm oddly excited. Jump, squat, jump. Banzai? That was dull. If they get winning points with that, I'm I am just I I am flabbergasted. That was awful. Who the hell's that guy? What? They've got a ghost on their team. That's cheating. What's with this whole free man team thing going on? One had an invisible child and now the other one has a bloody ghost. Cheating! I call for disqualification. So at the end of that, Jamaica wins with 98 points with their beautiful and swish moves, which I honestly didn't understand. Egypt with their terrible display at second with 85 points. Austria at 74 points with that very good suplex, which kind of looked a bit erotic. And France with 67 with that arc thing and invisible child, which kind of scared me. But England at number five. Did you see our romance? You bastards anyway let's get on to the next round and see if we can get some more points back in guys cut that out we need to win this one we can't have you touchy feeling your sexy bodies just now you can do that later save it for the evening we need to win this and take the gold back so let's see if we can get it let's go um can i like mix this up a little bit is there like a way to get like better moves out of this this um wow hit the buttons nope we're still doing the same move we're not going to win with the same move again 
How do we do different? Oh, I forgot about the ending. Oh, no, I messed up the ending. Oh, no, we've done a Katamari. We've done a Katamari. We're fucked. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, crap. I forgot about the landing. I put down the controller on my lap. <laughs> I fucked it up for us. I'm sorry, England. We still got 65 points, but still. To be honest, probably all the points have gone to that roll because that looks a lot better than what the other teams are pulling off. I mean, come on. Have you ever seen such a perfect roll? Those skis are going through them. That's magic. Wait, those 60-something points that we just got was our total, because that's what we got last time. So we got no points for that one. Damn it. Oh, they're doing the same thing. Same old song and dance. Not very good. Not impressed. Come on, Austria. I believe in you. You can beat those guys. What are we going to do here? There they go. And... Nothing. No suplex at all. Okay, they've done a very, very boring job of this one. I am ashamed. I expected something odd from Austria. That is not normal. That is not what ski jumping is about. You're going to need to pull off something a little bit more extravagant than that if you want to go home with the gold, my friend. Egypt now with 85 points currently. They could take the gold if they pull off another crazy stunt like they previously did. And here they go. About to hit the jump. And nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. No. What is it with everyone with the basic jumps? What happened? What happened to the extravagant super fun? Go! Here they go, going down with tremendous speed, as I said for the last five times. Because really, what can you say when they're going down a ramp? There's really nothing to say. And once again, going for the boring jump. I think they're just so confident that they're going to win, that they can just pull off these basic jumps and get enough points to put them in the lead. And they really don't need to worry. I think that is the case, and which is why we're skipping this one and seeing where everyone comes on the leaderboards. And look! Jamaica at number one, who would have guessed? And then we have France, who managed to pull up against Egypt and Austria down at the bottom with England at last due to my major and royal fuck up. I'm sure we'll make it back. Where did that child come from? Well, as England has failed me today, I'm going to go ahead and go with another country. I'm thinking Finland, because everyone likes Finland, don't they? And I imagine they're great at winter sports. There goes Finland getting in the last stretches before their jump. They look ready, prepared, and probably the most professional of any of the teams so far. So let's see how they do going down so uh, uh, yep same old moves here see where this is going move 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 there we go perfect and what the hell is that meant to be Ooh, um yeah physics i really don't know what to say about that that was really boring but at least for this moment we are in first because no one has actually had a go yet now it is time for korea so much speed it's looking good and jump. They're doing the bicycle. Boris would be proud. Oh, and that's how they landed it as well. Not even on skis. They're still going. Here comes Vietnam. I don't know what they're doing, but it looks like they have a plan up their sleeve. What a jump. The double crab. Now, my God, the amount of strength you must have to pull that off. They are shaking, though. They must be in quite a lot of pain. But wow, that shows commitment, doesn't it? Bloody beautiful, but only 51 points. Here comes Mexico, prepared and poised. Look at that, up, down, up, down, up, down, pose. Perfect. Looking good, here it comes. Uh, what do you call that? Um, uh, ow, I guess. Uh, that does look very painful. Oh, he's still going. The poor sod. He's got to land that as well, because he's in full control of the skis. The other guy's completely off him. So the other guy's getting his arms basically ripped off, and he's got to land. That's a hard job, so I guess that does deserve quite a lot of points, but only for that guy. Just for the one guy. Here comes Norway. They're very pale-faced, but I think they're ready. I think they're going to be more prepared than some countries today. But still, they do look quite terrified. Here comes their jump. It's the... It's the... It's the butterfly. The, the bird. What was that? That was terrible. Let's be honest. Worth only 55 points. God bless, because that was absolutely awful, considering that most of the points I'm going to go ahead and guess are judged while in the air. Once you hit the ground and start doing that moving around shit, I'm pretty sure it does not count. And in the end, Mexico comes in first with 79 points. And in second, Finland with 63. And then following up, we've got Norway with 55 points, Korea with 52, and Vietnam with 51. Though I am surprised that Norway managed to hit so high with that terrible display. Personally, they should be in number five, I think. I'm sorry, Norway. I don't mean to offend you.
But that was shit. But here comes the final round for today. And Vietnam is up first, ready to go. Oh, they're pulling off the same move again. As impressive as it was the first time. I don't think it's going to get them as many points. It will put them in first place, I am sure. But it's only a matter of time until someone pulls off something original and puts them back into the first place position. Now, here comes Korea with currently 52 points. Let's see if they can push themselves back up the ranking. Very good. Oh, what is this? They are bowing. They are looking like they're handing over business cards. They have now fallen in love. So romantic. That is sportsmanship. Today, Korea will come out on top. I am 100% sure that was beautiful. That's what I want to see. That's exactly what I want to see in ski jumping. This is what ski jumping is about. Apparently. Look at that. Bow, grab, bow, grab. Going for the hug. Oh, just look at them wave. It's beautiful. Oh, it's like watching the royal wedding all over again, but... They don't have royals in Korea, I don't think. I know nothing about Korea. Terrible moves. I am, I'm just still disappointed. I'm having flashbacks about how disappointed I was. But I think you can pull it back. You have 55 points currently. You can do it. Though I don't really want you to because I plan on having Finland win. But we'll see. We'll see where that goes. Here it comes. Off it goes. What is that? Now that is impressive. That is the Jesus Christ right there. This is This is turned into something religious here. This has gone oddly religious. Look at that. Even the same pose and everything. I hope that no Christian or Catholic viewers are upset with the symbolism they are seeing right now. Here comes Finland. Here we go. We're stretched. We're poised. We are ready. Let's go. 63 points. We need to get over 130 to win this. Let's see what we can do. Let's go. Okay. And press, press. Can I press something else? No, I can't. Okay. Um. Oh, God. I fucked this up for myself. Oh, no. We've ruined it. We've ruined it. Oh, no. It's turned into a basic ski jump. It has gone downhill. But I'm going to do myself a favor and remember to land it this time, which drops us to 103 points. That is not where we want to be. We have not won this match. We are not going home with the gold. Oh, Mexico are back and they're pulling off the same old crap. They've got them in a lock. Going to have to land this with severe arm pain. Now he is going home sore today. And for the final ranking. Kings, we've got Mexico at number one despite putting off the same trick twice. I am not impressed. Korea, who should have come in first with that beautiful move on the second round, only came in second with 132 points. In third, we have Norway with 130, which they surely deserve. They did pull it back on the second round, but that first round was so disappointing. Just they shouldn't have come any higher. I think that's about right. And Finland in number four. Uh, not as good as I was hoping, but it's still better than last with 103 points and Vietnam with 102. I can't remember what Vietnam did, so I can't comment on it too much, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't that great. So guys, that was Ski Jumping Pairs Reloaded, and today I feel like we've all learned something. I feel like we can all go and watch the Winter Olympics and know what to expect and have a jolly good time watching it, because after playing this game, I am well and truly excited, and I'm going to be glued to to my television when the ski jumping comes on and till then i will see you guys in the next one whenever that will be farewell yeah.